by the windows on the right hand side. Busser Howell may be blind, but he doesn't let his disability define who he is. The New York painter was in Kelowna recently to help open a new exhibit at the Kelowna Art Gallery, showcasing his work and the work of three other blind and vision impaired artists. When you're showing with three other blind or low vision people, then everyone is focusing on the disability. And what I want people to do is to look at, at the work and the, understand that the disability isn't affecting the work. Using a mixture of paint, paper and other materials, Busser creates single monolithic images that capture the complex nature of the human condition. I want to draw people into my work. I want, I want the sighted people to come and say, oh, let me go up and see what that is. I have been doing some reading about the Vedantic philosophy and that is represented by a, a square basically dissected by an X with a circle. And that represents the mind, the top being the consciousness, the bottom being subconscious, the right being intuition, and the left was the senses. Curated by Ruth Bieber, Just Imagine brings together the works of German artist Eriko Watanabe, New York artist Busser Howell, Calgary artist Bruce Horak, and Okanagan artist PJ Lockhart to showcase each of their distinct and unique approaches to art and that's the four canvases that were attached together in really bright, colorful, abstract works. The exhibit aims to challenge and expand people's perceptions of who does art and what people perceive art to be. The question I hear all the time is, why do blind people care about art? And how do blind people do art? And so it's almost as though it had already been decided that blind people couldn't possibly be interested in an art or be an artist. And of course, this exhibit expands the definition. One artist who is expanding this definition of art is Eriko Watanabe. The Japanese born and German raised artist uses raised line drawings to create images that capture what she perceives from her other four senses. Whenever I find something interesting or inspiring or weird, I'll just grab my drawing kit and try to sort of um, uh, capture it with lines. Could be just a plant that feels funny or a, a sound of an animal that sounds interesting and exotic to me or the air that's intriguing. Could be anything. And while she would be just as happy drawing for her own enjoyment, Eriko sees the process of sharing her work with the greater public as an opportunity to highlight the work of blind and vision impaired artists. What I like to present is not just um, my, my, picture as, my pictures as end products, but also the creative process that, that's attached to each picture. I mean, I want people to come and, and look at the artwork and realize he's an artist. You know, he may not be functioning with exactly the same facilities that what we think an artist should be dealing with, but, you know, they're making art and they're making high quality art. The Just Imagine exhibit takes place at the Cologne Art Gallery now until March the 17th. For Go Okanagan, I'm Marianne Ockel.